Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I'm going to do some underpainting today, and that's not something that I talk about a lot, so I thought I'd come on here and um, show you what I'm talking about. So, underpainting um, is a great way to use less foundation. Um, so, if you have really dry skin, um, if you have mature skin, and you want more of a natural look with less foundation, but you still want to do a little bit of contouring, um, then use liquids instead of powders, and I would recommend doing underpainting. So if you're hopping on, please say hi and let me know you're here. Say good morning. You could say where you're watching from. Um, and if you're watching the replay, put a two in the comments. So I've already put my primer on and then I let it dry while I was doing my eye makeup. So um, underpainting means that you're going to do your contour and highlight under your foundation. So I'm using a liquid bronzer. And like I said, I do have primer on that I've already let it dry. And so I am placing this liquid bronzer. This is a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, by the way, um, about half the price that you would pay for Charlotte Tilbury, a pharmacy brand. Um, our products are non-toxic, European standards, naturally based, cruelty free, and super affordable. So again, say hi if you're hopping on. This is a Facebook Live, but I will be putting this on my YouTube channel as well. But I like to put the bronzer around my forehead uh, just to get like a nice um, sun-kissed look. I've already put it on my cheeks. I'll put it on my nose and put a one in the comments if you already knew or already know what underpainting is. And put a three in the comments if you had no idea. This is the first time you've ever heard of it. So a one if you know or knew, or knew prior to this video. And a three if this is the first time you've heard of it. So I am putting on a light layer of this liquid, um, uh, basically liquid bronzer. And I've got primer on. But I'm going to do a couple of steps. So like I said, if you have mature skin or if you just want to use less foundation, then underpainting is a great way um, to do that. Um, or I do this, I did this on my last bridal look. It's also a way to look more blended, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm going to put some CC cream above and below the areas that I just put that bronzer because I have a really red face, as you can see. And so we're just going to put this CC cream on. I'm not seeing any comments. I don't know if Facebook is hiding those from me. So if you're commenting, I appreciate it. Again, a one in the comments if you knew or know what underpainting is um, prior to this video. A three in the comments if you, um, if you don't know. I think I said that backwards. I think I'd said one if you don't know, three if you do. Anyway, just let me know in the comments if that is something that you know about or not. So then I'm just gonna take my um, kabuki brush and I'm just gonna kinda go around the bronzer. Now, if you don't need CC cream, like to even out your skin tone or take uh, get rid of dark spots, get rid of, um, redness then you can just do this step with your foundation so i'm just going to i don't think i have the greatest service right now i feel like i keep freezing up i hope you guys are able to watch this so i'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just go all around i'm not covering up the um the bronzer kind of going around it And because I'm going to do another, another layer, which is going to be my foundation, I'm actually going to do another layer of the bronzer first. This is just going to really help get a nice blended look. Okay, so that's contour or bronzer and then CC cream. And I'm just, this is just me. I'm going to do another layer 
This is gonna look really nice and blended when we're done. So that's the liquid bronzer. And if you have not tried the liquid bronzer, it's amazing. It blends so well, very natural looking. So I'm just stippling this in, blending it out, right? So there's my liquid bronzer. Just do small sections at a time. Good morning. I wish it would show me comments. Okay, now let me swipe. So I think comments will start showing up here in just a moment. Facebook had to give me a minute, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I'm just stippling this liquid bronzer, which again, if you have mature skin, liquids are gonna be better for your skin than powders. So I highly recommend on my end here, it seems like my video keeps cutting out. Hopefully it's not doing that to you guys. But this is a very natural look. Um, like I said, I used it for my last bride. And thank you for giving me the hearts and the thumbs up that lets me know you guys are seeing me and hearing me, but I cannot see you guys. All right, so. Now we're gonna do the foundation. And this is the best part to me is that it allows you to use way less foundation. So normally I use like two to three pumps of my VFX. Um, it's almost out and so I'm scraping the bottom. So I'm just gonna take my um, applicator. Hey Kristen, I can see you now. Thank you, thank you for commenting. All right, so I just took a little bit of um, the foundation and I'm just gonna smudge it to make a line. Again, like I did the CC cream, I'm gonna go above and below the uh, liquid bronzer with my foundation. And I used very little foundation, very little. This is a way that you could get away with using less foundation, but still have a very nice, well-blended look. Okay, so I'm using the same um, Kabuki brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and stipple in that foundation around the bronzer. And because I did that CC cream first, that really helped put down, you know, like a, a foundation, you know, to, to really blend everything well. So, I've used very, very little foundation here. So this will definitely help we, if you have uh, fine lines and um, your makeup looks cakey or it gets into your wrinkles, try this. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge and just blend everything out. I really, really like how natural this look also looks. The liquid bronzer is just so easily blended. It's like you really cannot go wrong with it. So for some of you who struggle with the bronzer powders, definitely give, give this a try. So you're just kind of blending everything together. You've got your foundation and your bronzer. You could even do more bronzer again if you want to. Sometimes it doesn't show up on camera as good as it does in person. So I'm going to do just a little bit more. You don't have to do this, but I, I want to. <laughs> but you just keep going back and forth and blending in with your liquids as little or as much as you want. I'm just going to take what's on the brush here. And what I personally do is I'll set this with a powder. So, soaking everything in to the skin by pressing it in, eliminating any brush strokes that we may have. Okay, so then if you wanna do some highlight, then take your concealer and go opposite areas of your Let's go ahead and do our under eyes. I normally do inner corner, outer corner. Today I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of 
concealer. And then the same brush that I've been using, I'm just going to blend it out. But do you see how um, it really blends really well? How more natural looking it looks? Um, the powders can get heavy and cakey. Again, if you have mature skin or wrinkles, you want to avoid powders and um, do more liquids and creams. And so this is a great option for the liquid, you know, option or the liquid route. <laughs> Just make sure that you're just pressing everything in, that you're doing everything in a pressing motion. I'll bring that concealer up the side of the eye. I know that this is really different probably for you than how you normally do your makeup or how you learned how to do your makeup, um, but be open to trying new things. New things, you know, especially with makeup, is gonna help lead you to finding what works best for you, what works best for you may not necessarily be what works best for me and vice versa. So I challenge you to try something different. Try underpainting. See if you like it. You definitely need the uh, liquid bronzers that we have because they are amazing. <laughs> Other than the Infinite Palette, the Liquid Bronzer is my next favorite product that we have right now. Other than the VFX Foundation, of course. That's like the OG. So, the Infinite Palette is new. The Liquid Bronzer is fairly new. Alright, so I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and just kind of go back over now since I did the uh, concealer. And I'm just going to kind of blend everything together. It looks very natural, not cakey. And then me personally, I'm going to set it with a little bit of powder. So this does make the powder uh, part a little easier because you're gonna be using way less product. So I'm just going to take some bronzing powder. Instead of actually using it to contour like I normally do, I'm just going to just put a little bit just there. So the foundation of the, con the contour is already there. I am just setting it with that powder, which I can use way less of now because the powder is grabbing onto and sticking to the liquid products that are already there. Whereas when you don't have those products down already, it's um, the powder is, you know, trying to stick to your skin or to your foundation or something like that. And it's just, you're going to use more powder that way. All right. So that is what we in the beauty industry call underpainting. I'm just taking a big fluffy powder brush with no product on it and just kind of blending lightly since I did use a little bit of the bronzing powder to set things. And if you want to use a regular powder to set things, again, you can use less of it, way less of it than you normally would. So I'll just tap a little bit on. This is a great way too to get more longevity out of your makeup. So if you are doing your makeup and you need it to, to last a really long time, um, this is also a great way because you're, you're doing the liquids or the creams, which are going to really, you know, work really well. And then if you set with a powder, then it's just going to last really long. This is one reason that we do this technique for brides. Okay, so next up, I'm just going to do some blush real quick and lashes and lips, and then I am finished. I feel like this was quick also. I did my, ma my eye makeup uh, before I came on, so that, of course, um, 
helped speed this up as well. I would like to start doing a little more short videos. Um, I know not everybody has an hour to sit around and watch makeup, you know? <laughs> so, if I can just bring you smaller steps, I feel like that'll be helpful, right? Okay, so there's my blush. If I wanna do a little bit of highlight, um, this Infinite Palette is the bronzer powder that I used. It also has a um, highlight powder that I love. And I'm just going to come right on the high point of the cheek, right above the blush. And then um, I like to also take a powder brush and just blend that in as well. So that it's not just like a glob of highlight right there, you know. All right, all right, so I'm gonna do um, lashes and lips off of camera um, because I've done that for you guys before and I wanna keep this short. So I really wanted to just show you underpainting and um, I hope that you learned something new. I hope that you'll try it. Let me know if you do, let me know how you like it and I hope you guys have a great Tuesday, bye.